last left off. In The Witcher 3, Blood and Wine. We made a lot of upgrades to our villa, the Corvo Bianco Vineyard, and we cleared out a lot of the map. And I think today, as I was just saying, I think we'll finish off all the quests on the top half and maybe start like seeing if we can clear out these undiscovered locations. Because there's probably going to be some interesting stuff here. I think it's going to be fun. Okay, so hey, Yambix, your whole game, base, till Blood and Wine took you nearly 160 hours. That's insane. Your 100% completion run was 200 hours. I think, Quirus, that is like textbook exactly how much it sh should be like i think almost on the spot May maybe a little bit more but i think that's that's exactly textbook completionist <laughs> which is which is amazing because i mean yeah it's it's, it's just it's it makes you happy that websites like how long to beat exist because they get it right it's real gamers reporting how long it took them to beat the game and uh they're generally on the on the mark with it. So this is going to be pretty exciting. I think the first thing we're going to do tonight, however, before we start clearing the map out, is we're going to go and upgrade our armor. Because I am mega excited to see what the feline upgrade looks like. And then I can also start looking at things like the armor die. And then in the process of doing that, we get to, as you can see on the right hand side, we get to experience the upgrades and refurbishments to Corva Bianco. It is a lot of stuff. Like, basically, in two days' time, this villa is going to be new and improved and definitely way better than ever. Look at that beautiful sky. Oh, my God. Anyway, it's exciting. What exciting times. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Well, let's start. Let us begin. Cat, listen. I've got a reputation around these parts. You better watch yourself with that hissing. So, first things first, as I said... To town. To the armorer. I feel bad for not doing the main quest, but holy crap, there's so much other stuff presenting itself to me constantly. I think that you guys saying like you have these huge amount of hours in the game and you've like spent all this time in Blood and Wine and Witcher and the base game and this and that. It's nice because like, I don't think you are the average gamer. The average gamer is the one that does main story with like a sprinkle of extras and I think, you know, that's good because I think that's a good way of gaming because you never really get sick of things. You play till you're bored or you play till you finish it and then you're done and you, you don't you don't overplay something. Obviously, you, you need a certain nice type of personality to, uh, to really like 100% something. Uh, you're like going to really appreciate it and stuff. But I, I think that like because there are so many people that do it uh, in that that specific way where you don't like 100% everything you just sort of power through the main story and stuff a lot of what they have in this game like just gets missed I think it oftentimes just gets missed because they don't get it they don't see it they don't they don't experience it so they can't talk about it the the word of mouth doesn't circulate I'm lost I'm lost I'm trying to find that guy who crafts the armor anyway I'm glad to be playing the witcher I should just say that, actually. Grandmaster Smith. That's where we're going. How am I so bad at finding this guy? Oh, there's the building. Okay. So this guy's open in the middle of the night, I take it. There's the one. That's what I was looking for. Hey, buddy. Greetings. My search goes well. Let's craft something. So, Would you craft something from what do we have? Do we have Grandmaster uh, of anything just yet? I think we got... Did we get the boots? I'm trying to remember if we got the boots. Yeah. Okay. So we got the boot. No? Shit. We didn't get the boots. Do we get anything? Whoa. Okay. Let's get the chest armor first. Chest armor first. You know, XCOM and Witcher being the games that you sunk the most time into. But both those games you fully completed. Only... Once, because replaying games just isn't your thing. Yambix, listen. You're preaching to the choir. It's definitely not my thing, replaying games. Uh, I don't don't really like it that much. I understand replaying games. I do. But, so, like, uh, it's just not my thing, you know? It's just not my thing. Holy shitballs. 
Rip my money. It's hard to replay a game you spent hundreds of hours on. Yeah, well, Rush, like, I, I think it is, but at the same time, you know, for some people it just isn't. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. And and some games I understand completely. Like, let me let me give you the one exception. Or the one ex style of exception. Dark Souls. Let's just throw that out there. Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro. That, I completely understand. Well, Sekiro is slightly less. Dark Souls... Uh, Bloodborne, absolutely. Sekiro, you, you don't have as much variation of the weapons and stuff, uh, so it's it's less uh, replayable, but it's, it's definitely awesome still. But yeah, like, something like The Witcher, where the story stays this, mostly the same, uh, you, you, you just sort of, sometimes it's hard, you know? I think we're going to do Grandmaster Feline Trousers. One and one. This is all my money gone. <laughs> you weren't joking. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Shit, I mean it looks awesome from the back. Okay, what is that? Why does it have a little sausage hanging off the back? Oh my god, this is gonna ruin my screenshots. This is gonna ruin my cutscenes. Let's dye it black. Hold on. Black as the night. Whoa, that's that's really nice. Is this yellow? Whoa! White? Oh my god, white is cool. No, go back, go back. This was fun. Hold on. This is sick, man. I think black is is actually insane though. Oh yeah, like oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, man. That looks actually quite nice. Glasses hide the hood, but glasses... Oh, where do they go? Here. I mean, is that an improvement? <laughs> they go on your face. <laughs> hey, you against here. My man, my man, my dude. No, we're going to actually go with the hood for a little while to feel it out, okay? Just to feel it out, to see how it goes. Listen, thank you so much for the 26 months, man. Yo, 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 it's good to see you. Hey? Wow, hold on, it's called Peepo Pants, right? Man, Peepo Pants to you too. Thank you so much for the 26 months, I appreciate the recommitments. You're still one of us, dude. Absolutely, always, always. It's supposed to be 27? I was wondering about that. What is this shit now? Oh, this is my inventory. Oh, God. I need to sell these. Look. Thank you so much for the 27 months, then. I truly appreciate that instead. <laughs> and it's good to see you, man. How's it going? How's your day been? Hey, masks are pretty... Oh, shit. Yes. Okay. I think this is acceptable. Here we go. Here we go. No, wait, okay. So, listen. The ass ears are great. The ass ears are great. I, I think we'll go with that. But we, uh, like I said, I just want to give the, I just want to give the hood a try. Let's just give the hood a try. Alright? Oh, shit. There's only one left. Wait, will it save the, ah, uh, screw it. Wait, that doesn't look black. Hello? Greetings. I... What do you... Dude, Pepe and Pipo, blessings. Absolute blessings. Like, I just don't think... Like, just imagine life. Just imagine for a second life without Pipo and Pepe. Why they give us so many good silver swords and so few good steel swords? It's like, I'm not gonna... Shit, I just sold that... Ah, uh, whatever. Shit. Uh... Four thousand to buy it back? Yeah, screw it. You can keep that. 
Right, we got 7k. Do we want to get the boots quickly? I think we do. Wait, we got... Did we get the boots? Don't think we got the boots. I should have made the gloves first, because I think they're more visible, but... Farewell. Good luck. Okay, so we've actually crafted ourselves some Grandmaster armor. We have to sell this quickly. Are these black? Oh, that looks so good, dude. Try to craft the ingredients much cheaper. Ah, it's too late for that now. <laughs> you can't uh, that's... Uh, Thank you, man. But like, uh, I just, I just messed it up already. It's fine. I don't mind. I think, I think, uh, it's, it might just be like, it might be incorrect. It might be just a bit of a wild guess. But I think we're gonna have more gold than we need. Like, we're probably gonna have more than we need because we're gonna go through the rest of the map now, and we only have one piece left to craft of that, and then we're done. It's like finished then. So, yeah, I think we're gonna be okay. Regardless, I think we're gonna be okay. Unless the house is gonna take like a bunch more of our money. Okay. So, as I was saying, top of the map. Now there's one Gwent we need to do over here. We'll wait with that. We're gonna go up to the top to... What is that? Arthak Palace Ruins. And then we're gonna just check these two or three places out here. And... Then we're gonna work our way down. I don't quite understand why the chest piece is not also... Oh, this looks shit. Could craft manticore set too. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe. We, if we get enough gold, if we get enough gold, then we'll strongly consider just, like, getting a bit extra. I hear my baby crying. Okay. She ain't happy. This is... Okay. Does anyone else agree that this looks stupid? Is this a bug? Please. Okay, maybe we should wait till day quickly and see if it fixes itself. Let's just see, okay? Is that a bug? What is the point of dying it if it doesn't actually die it? Do I need to double up on the die? Why is it not black there? You see? It says it dies it, but it doesn't die it. I'm removing the die, it looks stupid. There you go. We'll have black everything except the chest. That's fine. Looks blue and black? Yeah, Rupert Brittany. Hey, what's up? Listen, it does look blue and black. Because it's supposed to be black and black. I mean, that's what I wanted. Black on black. On black on black. I think it's a horrible twist of fate that it's the feline set that I like so much and that I use, you know, on the regular. Why couldn't it be the canine set, you know? I just, it's a horrible twist of fate, is all I'll say. Oh, we gotta do the mutagens as well. Yes, 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 yes. Soon. Soon. Oh god, you know what we can sell that's gonna make us a pretty penny? Is... wine. Letter to a mother. Darling mother, forgive me for fleeing without saying a word. But, you know, if father learned my intentions, he would sooner break my knees than allow me to leave. You must understand, the life of a village scribbler is not for me. I do not want to end up like father, spending my entire life hunched over tomes and slowly losing my eyesight during days and nights spent in dark offices. I want to live a life of adventure. Perhaps one day I'll visit you, my darling mother. Meanwhile, may you know health and happiness. Shit, Fabrice. Fabrice, you didn't make it. That life of adventure was not meant for you. That was a sad story. Like, every time we start this damn game up, we get a depressing story. Just to kick things off on the right note. You went for the griffin set? Since you used a lot of signs? There's a wolf set? Yeah, I know, I know, but like... <sighs> you know, it's a wolf. It's not a doggo. 
I mean, it's a it's a wild doggo, a, a, a crazy nature doggo, a savage doggo, but like, I'm talking about like a a, a doggo. <laughs> I basically want a set that reminds me of Nero. What does the wolf What does the wolf set even look like? I wonder. I must admit, I've never even bothered looking. I have not seen anything other than this set that I'm wearing right now. Oh shit! Hello? Why am I trying to kick this guy? Okay guys, here we go. I'm sorry friends. Tweak our noses. I'm sorry man, I was not tweaking your nose. The damn birds! Is there a bone arrow man behind me somewhere? You gave me hiccups! That's... wow. I like the red dye as well, I'm just thinking about it now, seeing all this red blood. But I don't think it would match the feline set all that well. I actually have, what I've currently got, Root Brittany, is I've got a... Like, I, I think it's a, a talent that basically makes that my adrenaline gives me extra sign power. I, I think that's what it is. And I'm not 100% on it right now, but I think it's a, like a thing that where the more adrenaline I have, the more sign damage I do. But I'm not 100%. I'm not gonna read all that shit. Hey Zadana, the protagonist changed to a generic hooded man. So we're gonna get rid of the hoods, and I think we'll do it in a fashion that I, I'm, I'm almost certain will please you. We just haven't done it yet. You'll see soon. You'll see soon, okay? This is insane. No IGs. Constantly. Constantly. Whoa, dude. Forgetting to pull his sword out. But how did that guy even die? Uh, bleeding probably. Hello? That's generally what happens when I get involved. You see blood. I will just admit, I feel like Geralt's the kind of man who doesn't look that great in a hood. You know, he casts an imposing uh, figure, like he's, he's got... I feel like the hair, it's important, right? I think the hair is important. Maybe it's not even just the hair, I don't know. Something about the hood just throws me off as well. I don't even know what it is. Anyway, did he say put up my wife as surety? Listen, is there any loot here for me? Because, like, I just cleared this place out. You guys moved in awfully fast. You joking! This is insane! The hell? They moved in here so fast. I I guess we cleared it out but did we loot everything I wouldn't know like this he doesn't scare the peasants but he still does didn't you watch the witcher shows first episode you wear a hood and then like they still throw the tomatoes at you and the other fruits and vegetables they still get angry at you you know you know Uh, you haven't watched it yet? Oh, man. Okay, well, mostly same for us. Like, we, we, we've only watched four and a half episodes, maybe five. Uh, but, yeah, man. It's been good. I, I recommend it heartily. I actually saw just a little while ago on Twitter, someone was saying that... Uh, this is nice. Someone was saying, like, I don't know, it was, a, it was a report to an article or whatever, and they were saying that, oh, it was a great success and that there's, there's a lot more on the way because people do seem to want it, and, 
it has been so well received that, well, everyone's just happy about it. Not just the actors and actresses, not just the guys who directed it, but like the investors and everyone else involved too. That guy. Whatever the guy's name is, you know the guy who, who thought of The Witcher, the guy who's writing the books? He must be so happy. I mean, it doesn't even matter if he's not involved in everything. It doesn't matter. I mean, I assume he is involved, but I'm saying it doesn't even matter if he isn't involved. Because, um... His creation is, is bringing joy to so many people, you know? Zapowski, is that, his, is that how you say his name? Thanks. That actually makes it so much easier. Uh, is it Adrian? Adrian Zapowski? I think, I think I've got it right. I think, is, is it Adrian? I think the name's Adrian. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why, but I just feel like that's the name. Andri, okay. Andri Zapowski. Gotcha. Archer's ball. No thanks. Hard pass. This is the place. Let's get in there. Let's get involved. Is that a place of power? Oh, it is. Oh, that's what he said, right? I feel like that's what he said. Place of power, gotta be. I'd like to one day use the uh, all the points I have. That's when our oh, hold E to draw. When our uh, Corva Bianco is finally upgraded. So many points to spend. Here we go. Faster. What now, you piece of filth? Okay. My decaf is finished. I am devoted to the game now. What is this? Oh, jeez. Good find. <laughs> Peanut Pustaka, any uh, hangover tips? <laughs> You've come to the wrong place, my friend. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, no, ab absolutely not. I would not have the first clue how to deal with a hangover. I've had very few hangovers in my life, and they just didn't go well. What can I say? Yeah, man, it's been a little while. How's it going? Do you still have a hangover from New Year? Because <laughs> I w I will, I'll just say to you, that would be impressive. So, okay. Uh, Zapowski was so pleased about Cavill that he said something along the lines of, As Viggo Mortensen once gave his face to bring Aragorn to life, so now does Henry Cavill give his face to Geralt. And so may it ever be. Wow. Oh, it's pronounced Zapowski. Zap oh, it's Zapowski, not Zapowski. Okay. Well, Zidana might be taking some creative liberties. It's fine. Wait, Koirus, if it's not a spoiler, do you mind telling me who that is? You say that you annoyed how the Witcher Netflix series killed off someone who's still alive in The Witcher 3. How does that work? Who is that? That's kind of wow. Wait, what? Ah, oh, there we go. This is the bandit. 
It's a spoiler. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, maybe the. Actually, can you. Can you. Do you know how to whisper? I'll type something in chat. I think you can, like, right click on my name or something, and then you can whisper it to me. And then I will see. Faster. And then I will see. Because I, I'm sorry, I'm super curious. So now, when we were here yesterday, I think Quairu said we should check out this area here. So we're going to do that quickly. Yeah, the TV series also has new characters. That I did hear, Yambix. That I did hear. That there are characters that weren't actually in the books or the games. And they were added for both convenience sake and for the sake of the narrative that they chose to go with in the TV series. How does it work? Different continuities. Oh, uh, wait. Now Zidana's going to say, see Star Trek. <laughs> Poor Star Trek fans. They don't know which way is which anymore. Whoa! The hell? Oh my god, that's beautiful. Hey, Wolfie. That is a big old dog. Holy crap. And it's busy giving lessons. It's like school is in session. See, it's busy teaching these two to hunt. This is the cutest thing right now. Take a screenshot. That's the cutest thing right now. Is this the quest? You're tormented. By what? Forgive me. But I must ask directly. Are you a man? I... I no longer trust my senses. I'm a witcher. Not exactly. I'm a witcher. Quite a few folk think I don't deserve to be classified as a member of the human species. What's wrong with your neck? Personally. A witcher? But no. Nor can you help me. We'll see. Just tell me what the problem is. A foulness. A demon. Or rage haunts me, grants me no rest. It wants something. I sense this, but know not what. Each day it appears, tarries, then leaves. It's here now, there, beyond the trees. Whoa. Don't see a thing. Of course not. It cannot be seen. Yet you see it? Only when I drink the brew, which brings a pain to my head. Oh. Nausea. But I endured these to keep an eye on the wraith, my tormentor. Whoa. What does this it look demon like? Of yours, can you describe it? It is an enormous horse. What? Its hoof beats pounding in the dark. It gallops to me, stops, stares, then runs on. Sure it's not just a wild horse, run of the mill? The creature is not of this world. When it gazes at me, a terrible chill pervades my soul. It is evil condensed. Its eyes black, void. Each time it comes, Ooh. terror grips me. I cease what I'm doing. Still my breath and heart. This is scary nonsense. What's your brew made of? Gotta wonder what's causing such strong visions. You drop in some mushroom? Chumber time, oh. dancing do that. Whoops. The common grey top. I see you know your herbs. Yep. Grey yep. top? Variety's extinct, if I recall correctly. Nearly, but not quite. I was able to grow a few from dried spores. I'd hoped a brew of grey top would reveal this nightmare. I was not wrong. As far as I know, grey top produces some powerful side effects. Though it can, in fact. Reveal the hidden, the immaterial. Oh God! Yes, I see. But better that than to know it is there, but not know where. Chances that Lumen fails this quest: sixty-one percent. I like those odds. I like those odds. So you're saying, for instance, in the Netflix, Nilf Guardians uh, are dickheads, while in the games, the Nilf Guardians are the best people in the world. That's untrue. All I remember about the Nilf Guardians is. Uh, I'm here von Emreis, or whatever his name is, and that guy was a shitball deluxe. I really didn't like that guy. He was North Guardian, right? God, I hated that guy. That's all I remember. That's all I remember. But in the show, they have been painted as villains and nothing else. They are just the baddies. 
Thus far, at least. Hey! Little Devil! What up? Once again, good to see you. Chances that Lumen gets the good ending in this DLC? About 8%. Wow! Oh god. I don't honestly care. I'm playing it my way. I will basically be happy with whatever happens. It is what it is. Because if I, if I make choices that lead me to the, well, anything other than the good ending, then that's where I belong. What did you miss? Uh, we haven't done very much today yet, but we have done some work on Corvo Bianco, so our house has been upgraded. Need to talk about how much I'll get paid first. Is it gold you want? Florence or Novigrad crowns. Florence will work too. I've no nothing of gold. I've nothing, in fact. Just potatoes in the cellar. A good crop this year. Tend to this quickly, completely. <laughs> what? Several sacks of I'm working for potatoes. Agreed. I'm working for potatoes. Ah! No, no, I don't need any pay. If that's the case, no pay required. Need those potatoes more than I do. Thank you, woman. I hope you're truthful. Fine. You seem sure something's out there. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Start by taking a look. Vince Fulner, what up, man? Toss a potato for your Witcher. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. I feel like I want to snoop around a little bit quick. Watch yourself, cat. Watch yourself. Come in grey top. Strong hallucinogen. Thought extinct. I'll often get to see that. Mm. Seems there's at least some truth to the hermit's ravings. Drops of blood on the pillow. Trail of them leading to the window. What? Shutters closed tight. Need to check the other side, see if the trail continues. This is insane. Yeah. Dead moths. Attracted to some ghosts like to the light of a candle. How's it going, Vince Fulner? How's life treating you? This is where I saw the thing spying on us. Hello. Ends here. My dalian's still vibrating. Ends here, you say. Something drinks the hermit's blood at night. That I know. Gotta talk to her. Maybe she can tell me something more. A queen phantoms. Cool. Home from work sick? Okay. Damn, dude. Uh, wait. So... Is that a positive or a negative for you? Because a lot of people are actually happy when they're homesick from work, but I know some others aren't. Witcher. Oh, she's a flagellant? Like in Darkest Dungeon? Heard flagellants whip themselves to atone for all humankind's wrongs, to appease the gods, gain their forgiveness. Yep. Is that why you do it? We reach our own reasons. I seek to atone for the suffering of a living being, which once fell victim to another's vanity. Her vanity, I I'm sure. Not for humankind, preferring instead the company of animals. I hear you. Mm-hmm. What do you have to sell? I'd like to take a look. Oh yeah, no, dude, it's definitely not great being sick. I hear you there. But the work thing, I feel like that's it. A flip of the coin for some people. Alright. Most likely some kind of wraith storm. Hey, Hawk. You. Can't tell what kind, though. Felt weak, spent lately. Notice bite marks on your skin. As I said, I feel weaker by the day. And bites. Mm, mm, of mm. course. There are lice and midges here aplenty. Mm. This isn't lice. Something much bigger drinks your blood while you sleep. But I That's sleep. disgusting. But a week is always present, always watching. I cannot bear it any longer. Sadly, not much I can do. Can't exterminate it if I can't see it. The great top. I shall make a brew of it for you. I've two mushrooms left, enough for one dose. Perhaps then you'll see what I do. That sounds terrible. I'll do it. Yambix? Yeah, that's the, that's tough, man. 
If you work from home and you get sick, I feel like you don't have excuses. This mushroom, even in me, could produce some nasty, unpredictable side effects. True. There is no knowing how Great Top would affect a mutated body. Let's do it. Hmm. A proper brew could be our only chance to figure this out. Do it. All right. High time we tried this. I'm excited. I want to know what those pillars are out in the forest. It's watching us right now. If I start muttering something about unicorns or sorceresses, ignore it. <laughs> Why you gotta confuse her like that? Man, what can I say? I'm not a huge fan of the hood. I think it looks like that 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 little that little pointy bit. It looks derpy as shit, man. Why did they put that there? What does that have to do with the damn cat? How's that feline in any way? So yeah, I I can't say I like the hood, man. But it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, we we've we've been told we can wear the shades instead. I'm gonna check it out. The hood should be on the griffin instead. Okay. Would you prefer the griffin to be this then? Wow, this clover's amazing. What? Now that's what I call a bouquet. Oh huh? said that. Oh, you're awake. Had me worried. You were out way too long. What is that roach? I considered giving you some white honey. Kind of hard to do with hooves, though. Roach? Roach is a woman. What? No, 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 Hawk. We've got a better idea than the glasses. You'll see. You'll see. But I, I do agree that the... Um, that the hood looks a little silly. Your voice. It's, uh, interesting. Gotta say, I expected a young mare to sound... Uh, girlish. Based on what? Your vast experience with talking animals? As far as I know, I'm your first. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> I don't know if I should believe this. this I don't think this is Roger. That did this interesting side effect. Great, isn't it? You should take this stuff more often. Got so many pointers I could give you. <laughs> yeah, sadly, drinking this too often could prove fatal. Why do you always show up when I whistle? Hey, you know how you always show up when I whistle? How's that work exactly? Well, you're my human. Gotta be there when you need me. Yes, I'll be there for you, ooh, ooh, as the world falls down. What? Still kind of strange. How you cross the ocean when I call sometimes, but then get hung up on the tiniest fence. What's that about? <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Everyone's got limits. Oh, uh, yeah, the bit idea I had was the ass is. Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right. Monster won't slay itself. Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. Follow me, and try not to trample any plants or small animals. This is... Wow. Yeah, this is a hidden quest, Vidful. No, this is a hidden quest. Geralt, we gotta inspect this area closely. I'll look for clues. You stand there and... Well, just stand. Right. Will you look at that? Oh my god. I'm getting it now. Roach is me and I'm Roach. I'm just standing here. Anything here. 
These are hoof prints. Not just any old horses either. These were left by an astral being. By the worldly. We gotta follow them. <laughs> this is great. This is great. Roach of Rivia. Dead moths often mean a phantoms nearby. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Now, what about the smell? Same whiff I caught at the cemetery in Vizima when we were hunting ghouls. The smell of death smells normal to me. Not taking me for a ride, are you? Uh, seriously? <laughs> oh, this is great. All right, now I know what we're up against. You do? Already? Right, Geralt. Let's sum up what we know so far. <laughs> That's me. That's my job. Uh, some kind of wraith. That's all we know. We're dealing with some kind of wraith or phantom, most likely. It visits the hermit at night, drinks her blood. Even if we manage to find it, I've got no idea how I could possibly fight it. Geralt, please, I got this. It's definitely an Umbra, an immaterial wraith. This one's assumed the form of a horse. An Umbra actually makes sense. Umbrae are completely invisible, even to witchers. But how can you be sure? Because it's not invisible to me, Doofus. It's right over there. Oh, shit. True. It's That's really away. cool. Come on, witcher. Hop in the saddle. Gotta catch it. Woo. Hey, Slim Jim. What up? Good evening. Are we in the saddle? There's the Umbra. Let's go, Geralt. After it. This is so typical. Hey, gotta save my strength a bit. Don't tell me how long we're gonna need to keep running. Can I not go faster than this? Man, I miss Red Dead Redemption's horses. Geralt, we gotta have a man to horse talk. No offense, but your riding skills, they leave a bit to be desired, buddy. You'd really do me a solid if you could uh, apply a slightly surer hand. Be a little more decisive about where you want me to go. <sighs> Sometimes I got no idea, buddy. Do I go left? Right? Torque where I'm standing? Yeah, and it'd be great if you could respond more fluidly to my commands. Hey, heard this one? Horse walks into a tavern, and the innkeeper says, <laughs> Hey, pal, why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that one. Let's not lose sight of that umbra. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's right there. Run, Roach. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Roach. Oh no, dude. Oh no. As long as we're being candid, I gotta Okay, answer. let's go. Why do you sometimes buck me off in the middle of a fight? First this is insane. I don't recall that ever happening. Don't. Wait, back at the st oh, where, where are we? What is this? Mont Crane Cemetery? <gasps> Melted into thin air. I see it right here. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, Apparitions. <laughs> oh shit! This horse is the best, dude. Oh my god! Roach is actually the best, man! Is this cannon? Is this Roach? For all eternity now? Yeah, he's Ronnie. Things got weird, what can I say? Roach is a hoot, man. Hey Taoist, greetings, good evening. Marcello Clerici, knight, died last year. Was more or less the same age as our hermit. Seems his spirit's become a horse-shaped umbra that's tormenting Panastri. Why are you telling me this? I can read and draw my own conclusions. 
thinking aloud, that's all. Helps me focus. Not tormenting. She torments me, refuses to forgive me. I'm denied peace in the afterlife, and it's all her doing. Each day I come and beg her for clemency. Really? Beg her for clemency. You would drink her blood, drive her mad with fear. I don't know how to explain it, but yes, the monstrous force takes me. Though I also know I'll not have peace till the day Pinastri forgives me. Shame. You, you and the hermit. What's the link? You and the hermit. How do you know each other? We met as babes, grew up side by side. I, I loved her. Yet she was always sad. Nothing could cheer her. The world terrified her. I thought her gloom came from being poor. So I did my damnness to take us from our village, make us a better life elsewhere. What a nice guy. The squire took her with me to the palace. But Panastri soon learned nobles are no more decent than peasants, not a speck. Once even I'd grown vile to her eyes, she fled the palace and joined the flagellants. I left the court to be near her, yet she cast me off. Said she didn't want to know me. <laughs> when the whip bearers proved too hard hearted for her, too, she became a hermit. I see it clearly now, though I never understood her while alive. From the grave's dark depth, the living are bright, sharp flares. You see all their thoughts at once. Now I understand why she had to cast me off. Mm. She's full of rage. Probably what turned you into an Umbra. Why take the form of a horse? A horse? What do you mean? Each day since I died, the power lifts me from my grave and, and makes me run. Then I return with blood in my mouth. <laughs> what? I don't know what this is, how what? it comes to pass. Is the horse even related? The torment will continue until she forgives me. Isn't that easy enough? But she sees me as a horse, you say? Hmm. I do too. Same I did so. too. Same way I saw you. Okay. What did you do? Must have hurt her something awful if she refuses to forgive you. Would rather see you suffer. What did you do? To her? Nothing. But my horse, I... I, I flogged it to death. Shit! She saw this. Whoa, dude! Proud stallion, my blaze. But he was a bucker and tossed me during a tourney. One I'd wanted to win badly. Finestri had been mm. so glad they'd let me stand. Me, the peasant son. I wanted to win it for her. Okay, now I see. But he should remain dead, this man. Rage That's actually awful. I struck and struck until at last he fell. Holy shit, dude. Okay, he doesn't deserve forgiveness. The regret. I beg you, forgive me. Absolve me in Blaze's very name. No. What? No. Screw that, man. You don't deserve mercy. Anyone who flogs a horse to death on account of some silly tourney deserves a fate this bad. Let's kick his astral ass, Geralt. For Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> 
won't let you torment her again. Yes! Do that shit, man! What a rude boy! I did what I had to do. Right, agreed. Let's head back to the hermits. Awesome. Screw that guy. If that's true, imagine if gamers controllers had sentience. The poor controllers. Oh my god. I mean, I treat mine with care and respect. But sooner or later, it'll keep coming to mm. forgive Marcello his deed. It's his specter that torments you. I would never forgive him. Never. Her dealing which drove him to torture that innocent beast to death. He's an evil man who deserves no mercy. She's He'll right. Never let you rest if you don't forgive him. I cannot forgive him. He'll get no pardon from me. If I do not suffer for his sin, so be it. Such is my fate. Yet still I thank you for your help. Knowing the cause grants me some respite. There's that at least. Don't want to forgive him? Don't have to. But if that's the case, draw salt lines along your threshold, on your window sills. Might keep him out. <laughs> Roach. Gotta admit, easy peasy with our powers combined. So, what now? We hit the path? Right to the nearest notice board? Rustle up another contract? Exactly. No, effects of the bruise waning. I can feel it. Won't be able to understand you soon. Ah, that's horseshit. I mean, I got so much more I want to tell you. And... <laughs> Clever beasts, horses. Farewell, Witcher. Ah. Oh, they are. Roach. I like you, Roach. I'm still a little confused by the voice, but it's whatever. It's whatever. Why would anyone say- why would you say bad ending? Like, that's the ending that I wanted. If that's the bad ending, then so be it. I don't deserve a good ending, because I wasn't going to let the damn horse murderer go. I'm sorry, that was just not going to happen. You know? If you can explain to me why, he'll be back? Well, she's not going to forgive him! She's a flagellant. Oh, in the good ending, you break the curse. Oh, well, you know, what can I say? They blinded me with rage by spouting horse murder. Basically, what you're saying is that I should have said whatever, whatever to that guy and then gone back to her and then try to break the curse. It's whatever, I don't mind. Like I said, I don't mind. That that to me, like... She asked for that fate. I've actually done nothing? I know, I know. It's kind of weird. They didn't explain that one very well. Well, the hermit might have preferred that fate. That's actually what I was, like, basically getting at, is that, you know, if you had broken the curse, then, you know, I don't know. She wants to remember what a bad thing this, this, uh, this guy did, and at the same time, she will feel like she has failed if, if you break the curse, because it won't be haunting her anymore, and she'll think that she, you know, somehow forgave it or whatever. I don't know. It's hard, it's hard. Like, the whole thing is it's a little bit weird. I, I don't know about the Roach Manly voice, but I think they wanted a silly voice for Roach because it was a hallucination. And I guess that they didn't have a silly female voice on hand. I don't know. It's a little weird to me. You up 